Well, it seems like I should have a celebration. The long-awaited flywheel has arrived. Um, I got my clutch and everything to go with it right here. Um, so, the thing is, it came last night, and I've got to leave on a trip this weekend. I'm not going to be around to work on it, but I thought what I would do this morning, I have a little bit of time, and I thought, well, maybe I could... be nice if I could go ahead and pull the motor out and at least kind of fit it just, just so I could see what it looks like before I leave, just sort of set it up to the back of it and rest my mind that everything is going to line up and fit like I want it to. So I'm just going to yank the motor out right quick. I've debated on which is easier, pulling the motor out or pulling the body back off. And I think I think it's easier to pull the motor out, so I'm going to do that. And then uh, get that uh, transmission and flywheel loose and just look everything over and then we'll go from there. Chevrolet would have a small little pilot bearing hole and you stick the pilot bearing in there. This thing's got a hole that's about two inches wide and about as you know two, two and a half inches deep. About the size of a golf ball, a little larger. The pilot bearing should sit right about here, but there's nothing for it to sit in. There's, there's something else I need here. Um, I'm going to get back in touch with the guy who made the flywheel and see if he has that part or can make that part. Maybe he didn't realize that I would need that. Um, the other thing is that my, my flywheel isn't drilled for this dowel pin right here. I'm thinking that is something I could probably do myself rather than go to the expense to ship it all the way back to him and have him do that. Uh, so that part, it's a little bit of a disappointment, but it's not a huge big deal. But this part is. This, this has to be, I have to, have, I have to have the pilot bearing sitting right in the center of that, so I've got to have that part. So my next move will be to get back in touch with him and uh, find out, you know, get him to make that part or get me that part or whatever it takes to make that work so okay we got one more delay on the hot rod but you know so what it's all part of the fun all right here's a little bit more of an update i've talked to pat who uh, built my flywheel about this apparently i've got a kind of an unusual crankshaft here it looks a lot like a, a later model cadillac like a 55 56 57 something like that uh, i went on his website and uh studied the photos. Pat's kind of an expert on this stuff and uh, I can see what, you know, he said that basically if it had been the original crankshaft this would have fit it. It could be that somebody put a later model crankshaft in the engine at some point when they were rebuilding it. But anyway, uh, got a hold to him. He's going to make me a piece to uh, fit this thing in here. I've been out here with measurements. I've been taking all kind of calipers and measurements and all kind of stuff to make sure it's all going to fit. And, uh, you know, sent off to him what I need and he's going to work on it and get it all put together and uh, you know they will have that within a week I, I've got some time off uh, uh, next week not this week coming but the week after that I got a little bit of time off and I could get this thing all together and going if I have the part so I sent him an off message asked him to build that for me and ship it about as quick as he could and uh, as soon as we get it we'll put it all back together and room room and go down the road <laughs> 